This time on Weekend Rental, Neosense and I are checking out an old Famicom game that might sound a little bit familiar. Rampart. This strategy action game was developed by Konami, under license from Tengen slash Atari, and it was released in 1991, only one year after the 1990 arcade original. While there was an American adaptation on the Nintendo Entertainment System, this Konami version was exclusive to Japan. Fortunately, an English translation patch is available. First, a bit about the game. In Rampart, players control tiny warring factions, each fending for control over the land available to them. Before we get to our verdict, here are some snippets from our play session. Yeah, it looks like we got themes. Usually it's just like fantasy or soldiers. Looks like wizards. Looks like soldiers. So this is our base. Okay. I've formed my base. Alright, and then you gotta and place a cannon. You want it, it has to be inside your walls. And that's your means of oh, attack. Cool. Oh wait, that's not your oh, two players different. That's a, I don't that's know like what that a is. Little knight. So basically we want to shoot each other, um, you want to take their walls out. Oh, I see. And then you have to repair your wall, you place blocks, Bond. and then you can uh, expand. Oh, you get different pieces, like, uh... Yeah, it's like Tetris. <laughs> oh wow, this is great. But you have some really fortified walls there. Yes, I, I was playing a different, <laughs> different kind of game. <laughs> Uh, but they sit on, t like, two, four yeah. squares. Okay. Yeah, two by two. I like that voice sample. Bye, yeah. yeah <laughs> this Get is a shoot. very weird... I can't imagine this being an arcade game. And it's three players in arcade with a trackball. It's so... more. It's so much more complex than <laughs> most arcade games. Oh, nice. See, you did a good strategy there. If you really want to mess somebody up, you got to take out, like, random parts of their wall. Yeah, so they... Because I see there's this whole matter of weird pieces that you get. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Tetris, where the game, like, seems to have a mind of its own. Screw you over whenever it can. Giving you some weird piece. Oh yeah, you cut my you cut my walls up. Oh, but look at that. Oof. I'm gonna have to fix some build now. I'm fixing a building. I'm about to fix some <laughs> build in this thing. Oh no. Yeah. Oh yes, it gave me the one little dot I needed. No. Oh yeah, I needed one of those earlier. Oh no, I think, I think I'm oh, gonna I not. messed up. <laughs> I screwed myself I over. I think I'm gonna not be able to close my thing in. Yeah. Uh, that's gotta be a lose, right? That, that's gotta be. Yeah. Oh, okay. you just straight up turned into a yeah. skeleton. <laughs> just, just blasted. <laughs> There's no more walls. I mean, it makes sense. I like the color palette a lot. I really like that, the red. <laughs> <laughs> I like the red, I like these like pastels. Looks like Kirby yeah. or something. <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> look like Kirby. <laughs> doesn't really fit the theme, but it looks good. The points are counting down? I guess it's like a life uh, bar or something. I thought it would, more points is good, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, I think you don't have four squares clear. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's a different kind of game going on here. <laughs> when I when I can't get the right piece. Oh my gosh, that's it for me. I'm done. Oh no. Yeah. I think you were getting it. I was. I was. I had a huge empire who was just. But Swiss you're. Cheering. Yeah, you made a couple of uh, tactical mistakes. Yeah, couple. Th there were some walls built around. Whoa. What is... Ew. <laughs> Push, A. Push A. Oh, I tickle you! 
<laughs> I'm gonna tickle you so much. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> That's it, huh? I can do it slowly. That's the yeah. I see that. <laughs> Let's go one more time. <laughs> Give it all. Oh, this okay. is an English fan translation. Yep. I guess they couldn't finish. They've done an honorable job. I don't know, I don't like this theme that much, but I like the trees. Oh yeah, they're cool. And the, I mean, the cannons are just like... They're what the, what the thing is supposed to represent. They're cannon -y. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't feel very <laughs> Japan. <laughs> I don't know uh, what's a good traditional Japanese canon, you know? <laughs> uh, I feel like it'd be like a... I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like when I used to play Age of Empires, and I'd... I think it was just like a ballista. It wasn't a cannon. It was just like a giant flaming arrow launcher. Yeah, that actually, that sounds... Might have exploded too. Uh, oh, I'm building a stupid, stupid temple. Oh, you got me. <laughs> no, did you not make it? No, that's close. <laughs> My castle has been destroyed. Yeah, I don't know what that last theme is supposed to be like. It's just one guy. I mean, if you just went to, like, an arcade and someone was just the master of this... <laughs> <laughs> Steal all your money and tickle your toes. Just dust you at this game? That would be really... I could see that being really uh, demoralizing. It's war, man. It's it's not. <laughs> it's not nice, yeah. In the uh, American version, you get decapitated if you lose. You like... They put yeah. you in a guillotine and cut your head off. <laughs> It's it's graphic. It's rough. Yeah, what do you think? The let's try the the OG. I feel like this is the real yeah, that looks like the classic. The real standard. Should we go hard? Hard map? Let's see what it looks All like. Alright, yeah, let's try hard mode. I feel like they forgot to color code the cursors. <laughs> I could totally agree with you, yeah. <laughs> they should be the kind of fun colors that everything else is. Or at least be player specific, I mean. For a second I thought I was you. Yeah. And it was horrifying. I really don't understand why the points count down. I'm <laughs> very confused by it. No. Maybe that's like the total amount of free squares there? Oh I don't then why would you get bonus points? Because you got you're filling up the most squares. I feel like if they had a little more memory. <clears throat> And they could have included the destruction of cannons. That would be... Yeah, or the castles. Um, as like a, a win condition. Yeah. Like if they had a persistent health or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just took like a really long time. I mean, that could be the case, really, but I would expect them to react. Or like, show damage or... Some kind of feedback about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's the point of the cannon placement? Do they shoot quicker if they're not shooting as far? Um, That's the yeah, if they're closer, the cannonballs take a shorter amount of time to hit the wall. What if we got our cursors mess messed up and we're blowing our own walls up? <laughs> <laughs> see, I can see that. <laughs> I have a very dense thing going on once again. You do, you got a really <laughs> crazy thing going on. <laughs> I don't know what I, I'm building some... There's some sort of southern expansion that's not making any sense now. This is a real thinking, thinking man's game. It's, But you still get to mash buttons. Yeah. <laughs> and you get to <laughs> when they lose, which, I mean... I can't think of many games where I've done that either, so... Longer matches and bigger. Hard with longer rounds is you know, a different <laughs> game. It's a slightly different game. So, oh, I think I know why you. The, I know what the strategy is around placing cannons. You can't build over them once they exist. That's true. And so you like have to close control. them in to make them function. People should go back to having the gun sounds just be this kind of crunchy noise. Just 
white noise from a synthesizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like recording field guns. Field recording guns. Yeah, and when people get shot by the bullets, there should be like a tiny little explosion. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. Absolutely. And then she go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and grip their chest oh, all over. <laughs> uh, I would love it. Just yeah, bring that into Call of Duty or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm... Like I saw that. You, like, yeah. It's not really nothing at all. I can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> but do it, do it slow. Actually, like, uh... What if you don't push it at all? <laughs> That's so fun. I love that punishment got cut in half. Did we do wizard? I don't think we no, did. We didn't do wizard. Let's do normal. Oh, this is like a baby version. <laughs> this, the, baby the music's sprite. different. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. This is Kirby. This is very, very much Kirby. Is this ma- I think it's magic. This is oh, they're little is. elves and I'm like, yeah. I look like, uh... Red Riding Hunter. Oh, look They're, at these oh, hands! Very, very confusing. <laughs> boink, boink. The walls being little fences, I like that a lot, too. Oh, look at all my babies sleeping. Oh, they do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very, very cute. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, now instead of O, oh, they draw a little heart. Aww. It's cute. Because they love you. Because they love me. They lo I'm their favorite warlord. And you win, you get a little apple. Great. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a good time set. Throw apples, you get apples. It's like the... This is the illusion of strategy. <laughs> <laughs> There's strategy, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at my formation and yours, and we'll see how this goes, okay? Yeah, that's a good point. This will be the real water. This is the litmus test. <laughs> oh no! Cracks. Little cracks in your defenses. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I could have placed that. I just couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Next up, Filter and Neosense will report their verdicts for Rampart on the Nintendo Famicom. This is Filter's review of Rampart. Um, I gave it a 4 on graphics. I thought there was some really charming sprites and overall it's easy to read what the game was trying to show me. The controls were mostly tight but when I go to cannon uh, mode where you're doing attacks uh, I felt like it was a little slippery, kind of hard to pin down, get accuracy on uh, the walls I want to destroy. The sound I gave a 3.5 and I was kind of unsure on this but although I like the sound effects a lot the music did get a bit repetitive more variety. For fun factor, I give it a 4.5. I actually thought this was a, a high mark on it. And overall, I, I gave it a 4. It's probably not the best NES game, but um, it's a really interesting take if you're familiar with Rampart. I thought it was easy for uh, Neosense over there to pick it up, uh, even though he'd never played the game of Rampart, um, and I had. It's, you know, it's not the most complicated game in the world. But for it to keep going, you know, if, if you wanted to keep coming back to it, I think it need, really needs just one more layer of depth for longevity. Um, just some different wind conditions or some items that, like, you know, randomize certain parts. But yeah, I, I would recommend it. I would play it again. Uh, keep it, like, in a mix. I wouldn't make it the sole game I play in a session, but it's a fun one to, you know, throw in there. This is Neosense, and... I found Rampart for the NES to be an absolute good time. I would give it three and a half on the graphics, maybe a little nitpicky, but it became a little samey with kind of simplified images, but everything read well and made sense. And I really like that there were tile set changes uh, because after a round or two, you just want to look at something different. Control was fine. Uh, it shines on the base building with the Tetris tile set like, absolutely works, and kind of seems more 
intense than it is. It, it, it totally works, and the shooting is a little iffy sometimes, but I think after a minute or two, it becomes rather intuitive. Uh, sound actually was the low point for me. Same songs, more or less, over and over again. I like the crunchy explosion noises, and I like the intensified theme during the building stage, but otherwise I felt like there could have been some, some slight changes. Fun Factor gets a 4 for me. I think that this is the kind of game that if you were sitting around with your little brother and he happened to be Rommel, um, you would slowly go insane with the sort of back and forth um, battle that goes on with this. It's just easy enough for both players and just hard enough uh, to kind of cause that, that just that kind of couch co-op aggressiveness. Much like Filter with Challenge, I give it Adjustable because it is not a flat challenge. And overall, I give this a four. I would definitely rent this again. I would keep, uh, I would keep it in the rotation, and I could see this kind of... You sit down with someone and drink some beer and, and really kind of grief each other. <laughs>